All right, so apparently more celebrities who are a part of Jung Jun Young's group chat has been revealed. And I'm kind of rushing myself to make this so I can update you guys as soon as possible, like I promised. But yes, I'll give it a shot. So, so far, the members that we know for sure were a part of this group chat are obviously Seungri, Jung Jun Young, Lee Jong Hyun, Yong Jun Young, Choi Jong Un, and Roy Kim, who I mentioned in my most recent Burning Sun scandal video. Also, another celebrity who was in the group chat with JJY has been revealed, Roy Kim. As for Roy Kim, the situation is not looking good for him because the police has announced that they have gathered enough information and evidences to suspect that Roy Kim has also distributed spy cam footages and he wasn't just one of the guys that were kind of just in the group chat doing nothing about it. And to that, Roy Kim has also announced that he will return to Korea as soon as possible and cooperate in the investigation process. Also, something you might not know about Roy Kim is that his father is the former CEO of Korea's number one rice wine company, Seoul Takju Jeju Hyope. Of course, he's just a former CEO, and in 2017, he has stepped down from his position and gave all his stocks to Roy Kim, making him one of the 51 major stockholders in the company. Currently, Roy Kim's father is a professor at Hongik University. And to those of you who have visited Korea or are planning to visit Korea, Hongik University must sound really familiar. Yes, it's the university in the popular, young vibe, energetic area called Hongdae, which has become like a major tourist destination here in Korea. I kind of went off topic, but anyway, recently a student from Hongik University posted on the internet that Roy Kim's father, who is her professor, apologized in front of the entire class saying that this entire situation is his fault. The student also noted that Roy's father mentioned that he wanted to cancel class in his current emotional state. So I can't even imagine what it would be like to be a family member of someone related in this scandal. They must be going through a very difficult time. Also, the rice wine company Seoul Takju Jeju Hyope has been getting so much negative press because of Roy Kim. The company rushed to make a public statement saying that Roy Kim is only one of the 51 major stockholders of the company and that the company is not Roy Kim's belonging. So I guess that's kind of a smart move for the company because they probably don't want to lose their number one title in the industry. Okay, so finally, here's the list of the celebrities who have now been revealed. Kang In from Super Junior, Jung Jin Hoon from 2AM, Eddie Kim, and a South Korean model named Lee Chol Woo. The police has announced that they have no plans to investigate Kang In, Jung Jin Hoon, and Lee Chol Woo, and that their names were only revealed to prevent false predictions and rumors. So to all the scandal-related accusations, Lee Chol Woo's entertainment label released the following public statement denying Lee Chol Woo's connection with anything involved in this scandal. Lee Chol Woo has nothing to do with this group chat. He has never distributed any spy cam footages. There was a group chat back when they were filming a TV show called Hitmaker, but that was the end of it. After the show, the group chat disappeared. As for Kang In, he made the following public statement. I was a part of the group chat when we were filming a TV show, but after the TV show, the group chat disappeared. I have never distributed spy cam footages. If the police asks me to, I will cooperate with the investigation process. And unfortunately, as for Jung Jin Hoon, he's currently serving his time in the military right now. So his entertainment label announced that it's been difficult to contact him. But I guess soon enough, his public statement will be announced as well. But seeing as how the police also announced that they have no plans to investigate Kang In, Jung Jin Hoon, or Lee Chol Woo, I think it's safe to say that their public statements aren't complete lies. As for Eddie Kim though, the situation is not looking good. The police has straight up announced that Eddie Kim has also participated in distributing these spy cam footages and has already been investigated by the police. So combining all the members of the group chat uh, and putting them on one picture, it would look kind of like this. I don't know what the police is thinking, uh, I don't know what their investigation process, and I don't know why they're revealing these celebrities' names so slowly. I saw some of your comments and I saw that a lot of you are making speculations that the police is trying to cover up other scandals, other political issues that might need more attention through the scandal by releasing these celebrities so slowly. And honestly, the Korean public makes the same speculations, but hopefully that's not true. I won't make personal speculations for you guys. For now, this is all I can tell you. I'm just hoping that the truth will be revealed without any lies or manipulations. So that's it for now. I just wanted to make a short video for you guys to update you guys on what's going on. Again, please subscribe to my channel for more K-pop information and to have your questions answered about Korea. And like always, I'll update you guys as soon as possible. So until then, see you next time.